Okay, this is the fifth and final one. We, I have put in the shadows for our, um, our mesh on the wires, and the mesh weaves in and out nicely uh, of, our, um, of, our, of our two sets. So, but we have this stupid gap here, which is really uh, screwing things up. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, take this whole thing and then scooch it over so that we essentially lose this area. Um, we're going to bring our grid back up and we are going to um, take these two layers, duplicate them by dragging them down to the new layer icon, and we're just going to merge them together. We're going to go to Merge Layers, Command E. And then we're going to select everything on this side, or you can do it the other side, whichever way you want. And we're going to zoom in. And we're going to move it. We're not going to copy it. We're just going to turn off the back end of it. We're just going to move it. Just like so. I want to make sure. Whoops. I want to make sure we're not cutting off this these shadows over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove some of the excess selection, and we are going to move this over. And that looks like it's center of where we need it. Yes, that it is. So, it looks to me like we have our mesh. Hide the grid. And now we can start trimming this and duplicating it. So, let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, let's get rid of some of this excess here we don't need. And we can definitely lose some of this excess on the top. We don't need that. And let's drag out a bigger selection, move it up. And let's say delete up there. So all we're going to need is this. And now we're just going to start duplicating this layer. But we're going to put it down to 50%. Once we have it at 50%, it'll be easier to duplicate. I'm going to go to the uh, the move icon up here. What do I actually call this? Yeah, the move tool. And um, then we're going to start holding down the option key, clicking, and dragging. Now, if I just hold down the option key and click and drag, it's going to um, move any way that it wants. But if I hold down the shift key, it locks it in whichever direction I've copied it. So we want to lock it going vertically. Uh, so here we want to then, let's see, we want to be about, I think right about there, for duplication. Let's take a look. Overlap isn't perfect, but we jog it a little bit with our arrow keys. I think we can take that. And bump that up. Let's remove, let's erase some of this excess stuff. Uh, so I'm going to pick a feathery eraser. Something, I'm going to go into my erasers palette. And I'm going to pick the 100 soft transfer. And I'm going to change, I'm going to turn the transfer off for now. Uh, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to click on this side, hold down the shift key, and click on the other side. And you can click and drag. Uh, you can click and drag a paint line. You can click and drag a shadow line, whichever one that you want. You can click and drag an eraser line. Either, either one works. So here I want to get in high and tight and eliminate some of the excess. So now 
we have two layers nicely nicely looking looks good to me so let's merge those two together merge layers let's erase some of this excess up top and we're going to click and drag in let's put that at 50% so we know we're lining it up right put the other one at 50% Take a look close in. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to merge those two together. Merge layers. And we're going to repeat it again. Turn this down to 50%. And 50%. Let's double check. That looks good. There and there. All right. Looks like we're getting close to our square. But I think we're going to need one more drag off of this. Let's see. There. Does that look squarish to you? Maybe that. That's pretty good. All right. Let's turn that one down to 50% and this one down to 50%. And take a look to see. Up, oh, it's a little off. So we're going to have to nudge this guy down. There we go. Perfect. So let's drag this up. See how we are here. That's overlapping perfectly, and we're good there too. There we go. I think we have our mesh all done. I'm going to take those layers, merge them together. Ta-da, we've got our mesh. And we can take that pattern and we could paste it invariably into our illustration here. And then once it's pasted in, now it's going to be this sort of, uh, you know, it's, it's not exactly perfect here, but what we can do is let's say we want to make a path here just for one of these we'll use this one as, a, as an example uh, let's let's put this down at 50 percent put an opacity at 50 percent and we're going to create a white background okay so that is now 50% with that checkerboard not behind it. And I'm going to put a path in here so we can paste that pattern into it. So let's create this path. Let's say if we if we did our illustration properly, um, all of this, all of these items on our illustration would have been pathed out because we want everything to look nice and clean and machine cut. So We want to paste it into that area. Now, if you notice, there's actually like a reflection going on in here across the metal, which is kind of cool. But we just want to paste that pattern into here. So, okay. We have our photograph as reference. And we can make that selection going to paths and turn that path into a selection then go back to our pattern here select all 
and I'm hitting Command A, Command C for copy, or I can go to I can deselect that, go to File. Um, I think it's Let's select all. Duh. It's getting late. It's almost 11:30. Uh, so we're going to hit select all. Hit edit, copy. Go over here, and then we're going to go to edit, paste special, paste into, and we've pasted our pattern in there. So now we want to take that pattern and we're going to transform it. So we want to go up to um, edit. Transform. We can go use free transform. And the pattern's pretty big. So if I, the free transform, that's it, man T, there it is. There you go. So what we want to do is we want to contract that pattern. And then we can start messing with it. Now it's not necessarily perfect because this is rounded. So what we want to do is we want to use the warp tool and start warping this thing so that it actually comports with our pattern in here. Which is really cool when you think about it. We can do some really cool stuff with this. get pretty close just by doing some slight tweaks and get it pattern right where we want it now if we take that away there's our there's our mesh pattern right in our space and we can continue to mess with that if we want we can take the selection and continue to warp it until it fits that area just the way that we want it. And we can continue to paste that pattern into all of our different shapes on our microphone. And that's it. There you go. That's how you make that pattern. It's a little complicated, but um, in the end, uh, this will help you, you know, the maybe hour that you spend on making this. Um, it will uh, make, you know, drawing this for hours and hours on end by hand uh, completely, uh, it's completely crazy to even try to draw this stuff by hand. It's not even worth it. Um, so you create these patterns in order to do these fills. So there you go. Um, I hope you had fun trying uh, this pattern out. I had fun showing it to you. And uh, I will see you next time.